Not too long ago, I made a video on how to make ampules from test tubes, but I want to quickly revisit it. There are just two modifications that I want to mention, one involving making the ampule and one involving closing it. One downside in my previous video was that the ampules that I made could not stand on their own. However, with a little bit of testing, I found it's possible to actually heat up the bottom of the test tube and then squish it down and flatten it on something like the bottom of a beaker. It easily flattens when it's pushed against the beaker. It's best to squish it against something insulating like glass so the test tube remains malleable for as long as possible. It is actually quite difficult and takes a little bit of practice to get it flat. So you can see here, when the ampule is flattened, it can now stand up on its own. This next part is just like in the previous video where the test tube is heated and then pulled. Even if you're making an ampule out of a larger test tube, you're going to want to pull it so that the neck of the ampule is about the same width as this. Ideally the neck is as thin as possible where you're still able to get your chemical inside. To seal the ampule, you should really limit how much twisting you do. In my previous video, I showed that you should twist, but this is only because the neck of the ampule was quite wide. I suggest you try to make it as narrow as possible because I found that the more twisting that is done, the more likely the ampule won't be sealed properly. So this is what my final ampule looks like, sealed and standing up on its own. Sometimes I find that after making the ampule, it's a good idea to shake it around a little to make sure there's no leaks, and you can see here that it is well sealed. 